Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot.
y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, you're too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on, the commander and the chief for my crew on, bullets rattling and whistle at your toque, never say bye, open hands clutching on my throat, this a war zone. there's pressure on it yada yada I don't even know if we have enough room to line up to it should be all right I'll have to pace it out being on this many planks probably be better to grab it with the beds but it's kind of downhill you have a chance of like should be froze down from sitting here but if you suck it off these planks or do anything and it, it does any impact the coils inside have a chance of being busted that's bad. Don't want to be that guy. So this is basically the same thing that's in that trailer unit. We heat that whole pool and then they use a boiler, I guess, to keep it warm. I don't think we ever use a boiler for... Uh, the other guys but you got to have this natural gas trailer and I think you got a natural gas manifold action in that little trailer just to run this guy
built this a war zone, homie. Say you ready and prepare. Take a minute, make them aware. Well, I'll be sneaking in the back, but it's worth the clap. Homie, life ain't fair. Caught me crawling through the mud where the vision saw it clearly. Born a shepherd to these sheep, make them fear me. This a war zone, trashed out, trap house, nothing ever given. Yeah, every day's a blessing. Thank the Lord, oh, how I'm living. See me riding with my top down. No cops round, pedal pressing on the gas. I don't think I'll ever stop.
try this out. Chest mounting. So, change of plans like always. I guess I got the other heater working, but they want to keep this close for backup, so we're just inside Rocky here. This is the RCM's yard. We put stuff here from time to time. That's gonna make you wobbly. So just in case they have problems again, this will be here. We're technically two and a half hours-ish from me to come out from Red Deer, grab it, take it up to location. I'm gonna put inside pins to keep it. It was a little bit on level where I loaded. Should have put in one further over, because I had it over. And then I was like, oh, it's starting to go to one side. So I just barely got that one. Always keep a spare on the rear. It seems like I always got chains hanging. Damn it. The easier place to keep it though. This one isn't full of stainless coil yet. He's like, oh, it's all steel still until this wears out. And then they'll be putting in the, the stainless. Which is like 200 bucks a foot, which I can relate to that because I got a wood-fired hot tub at home. And I was like, oh, stainless coil. They were selling it was like not very big. And it was like... 400 bucks. Shit. Expensive. I think you could buy a crap load of copper for half the price and have twice, three times the distance of coil. So I just wrapped the outside of my, my pipe on my uh, wood fire. Works pretty good. Four hours to heat it up from right water coming out of the tap but unfortunately it's useless in the winter so it's sitting there winterized right now and it's made out of uh 2000 gallons cattle trough around one my nephew's a plumber and we're just like trying to think of a way to have a hot tub cheap and not bathe in chemical to do it gives the wife something to do so then we also gotta go out and get firewood every uh, probably two to three times a summer probably usually four times a week if not more so really for a summer cut my own firewood which I bought chainsaw so that was expensive but I like to go out and cut firewood. What's to say I like to get out in nature once in a while? Coming from the Yukon, we used to go out all the time. Snowmobiling, firewood cutting, you name it. Now it's like I don't get any of that action. But I guess I do get out lots when I go to work. I 
the wife's like, I don't get to go out anywhere. I'm like, I'm out all the time. It's like, <coughs> she doesn't like that. It's not fair. We'll put two planks under the bottom of this just to keep it off the ice. So you don't get frozen skid and it's skid all over the place when you're loading it. It's the little things that count. Wish the ratchets were on this side because keep all my straps on that side. Might have to change that. Ergonomically not correct. So this one is also a little bit on the heavy side too. It should have been sucked up probably to the middle roll at least, but. So you'd be chaining up to shake it back, possibly. There is some gravel showing out there on the road, so I probably could have made do. But it's just those little things you think ahead. So you don't have to screw around to get the get unloaded. Look at that mud flaps. So that's where they sit. Actually, the roll isn't even planted all the way down. I see the problem. They fixed the cross member, but the cross member hits the frame rail, not allowing it to go all the way down so I can lock it in the down position, which when we got the truck, it was hammered out. So we fixed it the way they thought it was, but no one thought ahead of that. Get her wagon on the roll and then we'll put some boards under it. It's a little icy here. I might even struggle. That's why I put the dogs in first so while I'm out here I can fit this all up.
simple. I'm gonna go wash this trailer because it's pretty gross. Back to town. trip near miss well it's the weekend no one's here I washed it might as well grease it I haven't greased this trailer for quite a while since I was pulling in the summer so I don't know if anybody else has been doing it so I know I struggled a little bit with the neck a few times, so probably needs a shot of grease. Yeah, take that grease. Yeah, you like that, don't you, girl? Yep. Can I help you?
Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.